In this video, we are discussing the difference between RDBMS and HBS. So let us go for one comparison table for the better understanding. So here the first column is denoting the features of HBS and the second column is denoting the features of RDBMS. So this is column oriented. We know that HBS is column oriented, no SQL, non-relational distributed database. So it is a column oriented database. And in case of RDBMS, it is row oriented. In case of HBS, we can add columns easily as when required. So it is less restrictive. But in case of RDBMS, restriction is very high while adding columns because the schema is more restrictive and schema is static. When we need more processing power and disk space, we can add more hardware with a cluster without upgrading the present one. So here we can add more commodity hardwares. So the storing cost will be lesser, the hardware cost will be lesser in that case. And in this way, we can have more processing power. But in case of RDBMS, when we need more processing power and disk space, we need to upgrade the same server, not adding other commodity hardwares. HBase is good for with the sparse table. That means whenever we are having multiple null values. So for those sparse tables, HBase is very much efficient, but RDBMS is not optimized for the sparse tables. Next point is that the size of data depends on number of machines and here the size of data depends on the disk size of the server. So here the data will get replicated, will be distributed onto multiple different nodes. So that's why the size of the data depends upon the number of machines, not on the disk space of the server. It, this supports the structured and unstructured data. We know that structured data means our the database, you can consider database as an example of structured data. And in case of unstructured data, it might be a text file, might be a PDF, might be one image or your videos. So it supports both structured and unstructured data. But on the other hand, in case of RDBMS, this supports the structured data only. So here you can find that this is no transaction guarantee and there is no transaction guarantee in case of HBS and it guarantees the transaction integrity. So this transaction integrity is guaranteed for RDBMS, but there is no guarantee for transaction integrity in case of HBS. So that's why HBS is not suitable for those applications where frequent and huge number of transactions are going to take place. So there is no built-in support for referential integrity and it supports the referential integrity. We know that referential integrity means uh, that is a foreign key that means prime attribute in one table, if it is a non-prime attribute in another table, then in the second table where it is non-prime, there it will be called as a foreign key. So that conception was there in case of RDBMS. So in the respective foreign key column, we cannot put any value which is not belonging to the, the primary key column of the other table. So that is known as the referential integrity. So RDBMS supports referential integrity, but there is no built-in support for referential integrity in case of HBS. So in this way, we have discussed that what are the differences between the RDBMS and the HBS. Thanks for watching this video.